Hello friends, I'm Akash, and a hearty welcome to my YouTube channel. When was the last time you went to the beach? Did you ever try tasting the water in the ocean? I really wonder why the water in the ocean is so salty, whereas fresh water from rivers and lakes is not salty. See, oceans cover about 70% of the Earth's surface. About 97% of all water on the Earth is saline, which means most of the water on the Earth is salty. By some estimates, if all the salt in the ocean, all of it, is removed and spread evenly all over the Earth's land surface, it would form a layer more than 500 feet tall. That is just, just imagine the salt block all over the Earth's land surface, which is basically the height of a 40 story building. That is millions of billions of tons of salt. Oh, and yes, oceans actually have that much salt. The average salinity of the seawater is about 35 parts per thousand. That is about 3.5%. But where did all of this salt come from in the first place? Why is the ocean salty? Well, in short, the salt in the ocean comes from two sources. One, runoff from land, and two, from openings in the seafloor, like hydrothermal vents or volcanoes. Now, let's look a little bit deeper. The first process is runoff from land. That would be the salt from the land, which makes the ocean water salty. Let's see how that happens. So water from the ocean, for a start, gets evaporated because of the heat produced by the sun. Then it gets condensed into clouds, and then it rains down, both in the ocean and then also on the land. This is called the water cycle. Now, the rainwater that falls on the land contains some dissolved carbon dioxide from the surrounding air. This causes the rainwater to be slightly acidic due to carbonic acid. The now slightly acidic rain physically erodes the rock and the acids chemically break down the rocks and therefore it starts to carry salts and minerals from the rocks along in a dissolved state as ions. And the ions in the runoff are carried to the streams and rivers. And here, in the, the salt content in these streams and rivers is way less, like 200 times less, compared to the salt in the ocean. That is the reason why fresh water, mostly found in streams and rivers and springs, is way, way, way less salty. Coming back to the topic, this river water is carried to the ocean. Many of the dissolved ions, like for example, calcium ions, are used by organisms in the ocean. However, other ions, like say sodium, chloride, magnesium, and sulfate ions are not used up and are just left in the water body, where their concentrations increase over time. This process of evaporation, condensation, raining, and then the erosion of minerals as ions into the streams and rivers and lakes and ponds and finally into the ocean gets repeated and repeated for thousands of years, many thousands. And that makes the ions in the ocean way more concentrated, making the ocean water salty. Now, Another source of salts in the ocean would be hydrothermal fluids, which come from vents in the seafloor. Ocean water then seeps into cracks in the seafloor and then gets heated by magma from the Earth's core. The heat causes a series of chemical reactions. The water tends to lose its oxygen, magnesium, and sulfates and it starts to pick up metals such as iron, zinc, and copper from surrounding rocks. 
Then this heated water is released through vents in the seafloor, carrying the metals out with it into the ocean. Some ocean salts actually come from underwater volcanic eruptions. And yes, there are volcanoes underwater, and these underwater volcanoes, um, when they erupt, they directly release minerals into the ocean. Two of the most prevalent ions in ocean water are chloride and sodium. Together, they make up around 85% of all dissolved ions in the ocean. That is the reason why we feel that the ocean water tastes similar to table salt or table salt, which is sodium chloride. So you have sodium chloride becomes sodium chloride. Magnesium and sulfate also make up another 10%, and ocean water also contains other ions in very small concentrations. And that is why the ocean is salty. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you like my videos, then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell icon so you don't miss my new videos every time I upload. Once again, thanks so much for watching. Love you, Akash.